like, well, I'm like, I know I need to bring a stapler. Yeah. So you want to staple your business cards to some of those. What's up, advocates? My name is Vince Perry, and welcome to the Commercial Claim Show. And I am so excited about the topic that we have for you today. Hello. I'm currently working with a public adjuster already. Is your helper? <laughs> Homeowners? What? Huh? Homeowners? No. Uh, far away. Excuse me. Excuse me, Vince. Hey, there you are. I've seen her walk around. I just missed her. Have you already been offered a public adjuster? She, I was just chasing her. <laughs> she got on my quick. She's quick. Yeah, she's doing her thing. I'm doing my thing. No, not a problem. I'll reach out to her real quick. Gotcha. Are you the owner? Yeah. You have flood insurance though? Yeah. You're still going to need the same rules and they're going to apply to everything that's inside the walls, all the baseboards, you're going to need documentation. Have you already started documenting it? I've been taking photos of what I have. I don't have serial numbers. Gotcha. Stuff. That, we have a lot of antiques, so they don't have right. serial right. numbers. Right. So a lot of the issues that arise with these, I'm in Sarasota and we just had Debbie not too long ago, so we're kind of seeing Hey man. Hi kids. Hello. How are we doing? Hello. Hi. All right. What do we got? Let me bring my dog. Well, this one. So this there's a foot one. You can see all of It's like super important to document. We have to document that. If not, it becomes very very tricky. So this is. So then what, and what I forgot was my measuring tape. So what we do is we'll measure this normally. So this is 12, 17 inches. So they're gonna cut up to two, they're gonna cut up to, what is it? Six, 12. It's gonna be close. They could cut it right up to here, but if I do my moisture reader and it goes higher, then we're probably gonna have to go four feet. So that's wet, it's still wet, it's still wet, and now it's dry. So they're gonna have to go. 
Yeah, we're gonna have to go probably three feet. Everybody needs an attorney on their side. So whether you're a public adjuster, a contractor, or anyone else in the insurance claims business, make sure that you have an attorney that you could rely on, that you can go to for questions whenever you need it. That guy for me for the last 12 years has been David Farber. David Farber is the owner of the Farber Law Firm, and he has been there for me from the beginning of my career until now. And I would love for him to be able to help you as well. So make sure you call him at this number here and visit his website so you can learn more about the amazing David Farber of the Farber Law Firm. Okay, no, 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 sí. Personalidad. Esa es la cosa que yo quiero ver. Yo no creo. Yo creo que. Me imagino que no, porque casi muchos de los. Muchos de los. Claro. Sí, sí, sí. Muchos de esos que yo veo no lo tienen. Sí, sí, sí. Ahora, ¿qué pasa? Que yo me Pero mira, tú sabes cómo dice. El fijador y todo lo que tú veréis. No cobro. El seguro de flor es muy. No paga mucho, la verdad. Es muy mínimo. This one came up. Uh, this one looks like, like not too bad. Like, two feet or something. Oh. Oh, 
open any of these lines? Huh? You open any of the lines or anything? No, that's fine. Well, we, could, we live in uh, Gulf Harbors, Florida. We were part of some of the people that were direct hit from this hurricane. We're in a neighborhood surrounded by canals. We have our own beach. We were, we got hit with storm surge. We ended up having about four or five feet of water in the neighborhood, which permeated our house. The car, we lost the house, everything in it, a car, and we're just devastated by this whole thing. We don't know what to do, uh, where to go, and I think Vince is gonna help us a lot with that, but that's that. What was the experience like of the water coming in? Okay, that's a good question, because we, be, deciding to stick it out, we had, uh, when we noticed the water creeping up the street, I said, let's stay aware. We had a go bag ready. Next door neighbor has a second floor. As the water started creeping up, we started, decided to go next door. We took the kids, the cats, a bag, came back for some more. By that time, it was already up to our knees. By the time we got downstairs to pick everything up, it was crawling up her stairs. So we were pretty much afraid that we might be overwhelmed by the water. Uh, thank God it stopped there um, and we had to wait for it to recede, which it did by the morning and left us all this. John, I heard this is your idea to move down here. <laughs> <laughs> I've always loved Florida. I've lived in Fort Lauderdale twice, Boca. I've lived in uh, <clears throat> Wilton Manors and uh, you know, it's just like I've, I've lived here. I lived, I started out 50 years ago on Highway 19 in Clearwater. I lived, and I lived uh, right behind where Rooms to Go is there. And 50 years ago, a hurricane came through and the complex across the street flooded. But so we brought us back here to happen, happen again. Mike, you told me yesterday did something uh, interesting. You said that your mother died, your father died, your brother died, your sister died, you went through 9-11, and all of that combined wasn't as bad as what happened. I have to say, because I know my parents are looking down on me, that we're still alive. This is literally probably the worst thing that's ever happened to us. Almost. It's left us with... <laughs> I was just, yeah, I, no, okay. no, no, that uh, no, he's right. I mean, I, I outlived September 11th. I had a run from the North Building. So... Did you tell him about the carjacking? Oh, oh, that's right. When we moved down here, six weeks after we moved, we were carjacked. Right in our own driveway. In the middle of a day, a beautiful Sunday afternoon, some kid came up with a bike. I thought he needed directions because he waved. So I lowered the car window. I was waiting for him to get in the car and he rushed the car, stuck a gun in my head. I thought it was a gun. It turned out to be a flare gun, which he shot. And it went past, thank God, the flame went past me, blew out the council in the car, gave him enough time to run around. They started fist fighting. He got the better of the guy, pushed him into the street, threw his whatever bag with him. There was another flare gun in it, charged him, shot him right in the ear. We went up and got in the car. We that, couldn't. Is that the reason for your? No, that's the reason. Yeah. This whole side of my face was burnt. And he pulled out the flare with this hand. Yeah, I, I've had, so, I had 15 operations on this hand alone. So he, I mean, it's literally so, affecting him because he was... <laughs> I wanted to, Vince. Believe me, I miss it so much. But John wanted to come down here. Fine with me. Started out with the carjacking. We have hurricane after hurricane. Then this. Yeah. You know, and there's been things in between. So much for retiring. You know, we've... We lived in, I mean, I lived in D.C. in the bad section of the t city. I lived in New York. And We've lived in New York City for 40 years. We I lived in Philadelphia. We've never seen even a stabbing. We come here, we get shot in the freaking ear. And, well, of course, we, have, we didn't have hurricane. Yeah, we had a hurricane in New York. Anyway. Yesterday, that, I, yesterday I told you that you didn't have contents coverage. How did that make you feel? Terrible. Terrible, because we're out-of-pocket expenses since the, since the carjacking. 
We're, well, everything we're doing is sticking our hands in our pocket, and we're, it's really starting to affect us now. We're, we're living on fumes, shall we say, because Your citizens. You know, once, once I got shot, that disabled me uh, totally. I mean, he was a massage therapist. I he was a bodybuilder. I can't, he can't do any of that anymore. You know, it's, I should tell him, you know, like, Oh, oh, you, you should, should see been. what you should see what he looked like before all this. Couple of year, couple of years in and out of the hospital and did 15 operations. Trust me, that you can forget the gym for a while. We were both well built at one time until we came down here, got fat. Well, let's hope that we can uh, we can resolve this for you, get you everything you need, and put you back. We appreciate your help. Well, I hope you learned a lot of that show. There is so much in store for you in this channel. If you just fall into that rabbit hole, we've been doing this for four years. Click on one of these links here in front of you and see how much more you can learn on the Commercial Claim Show.